all right guys so today well, welcome to a new video but today we're going to be replacing this nest should be pretty easy um this nest services are getting discontinued well from my understanding they got bought over by google so some of their services are not working anymore they're going to stop working some of the services stopped working september 9th and the others on uh, april of 2024 so I do have this Nest thermostat and I also have a Nest Secure Alarm monitor at the other at our, at our business. And uh, the monitor is basically stopping in um, April. This one stopped already, supposedly September 29. I'm still able to connect, but it does have a lot of issues now where it won't connect to the internet, so stuff like that. It basically wants you to switch over to Google's, de Google's devices I'm, I'm going to. Not a fan of Google devices. Not, you know, personal opinion, personal, personal preference to each their own. So we're gonna be pulling this out, disconnecting those cables, and what we should be replacing it with this. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll post the video in a little bit. All right, so let me show you what comes in the box. Here's the thermostat. Connectors might have to read this one this time around. I'm not sure yet. It should be pretty easy, right? I just basically gotta change over the cables accordingly. They're all color coded. Um, stickers to label your cables. So here's a, a wall plate to run your cables through. Give you some screws. Um, that's a flathead and Phillips head, screwdriver handle, or whatever. Face plate. And yeah, that's all that comes in the box, guys. Again, this is an Amazon thermostat. I'm going to get this installed real quick. I'll let you know, you know how it goes. And I'll show you guys how the app works. All right, wish me luck. All right, guys, so I put the face plate, then I put the wire little box right here. It has a little door you just pull, and the wires come out through there. Uh, some of my cables do have labels, as you can see right here, but Amazon does provide some labels with for them. Um, if you want to put labels on them, I'm just going to go with the picture that I have. Um, but if you want to put labels on them just in case for the next guy or for later on, you can and it's pretty simple right here you just press this little tab focus press this little tab and the cable slides into right there come on focus for me. right there like so uh, like let's try this cable now they recommend you turn off the power guys i don't try to do with the power on I know it's low voltage or whatever, but that you guys should try to listen to. So as you can see right here, just slide that cable through there. And little tap pressed. Well, got pushed in. See the difference in the time. Locked in. So we're gonna do that to all the cables, and then we'll put the main face plate on right here, and that's it. We download the Alexa app and add it as a new device. All the cables are pushed in right there, and now we're gonna put this on up here. All right, so put the plate, and then we're gonna put this on real quick. Put it upside down. There you go. It says uh, 50 E, 5 E, F. Uh, all right, so let me work with this, this app. All right, guys, so once you're finished, uh, you, once the, you finish the install, it's actually easier or shorter 
than the actual Alexa setup app setup. So once you do the setup on the Alexa app, it's easy to use. Here's your temperature, eco mode. You can select right here. Fan heat, cool, fan off, fan, automatic cooling. So yeah, I have it at 75. It's pretty much it. Everything, I, uh, you can tell Alexa to do it. Just kind of why I wanted it, because the nest, that's how it was. Um, it also detects when you leave the house, so it goes to eco mode. And then um, you're able to control it through the Alexa app, which is you know cool and nice by itself. But installation is pretty fair, straightforward, easy. And uh, the longest process is the uh, Alexa setup. You just go in there, download the Alexa app, add device, and it'll walk you down the steps. But it's just a lot of tests. You gotta test your heating, your fan, your cooling before it actually lets you use it. Um, it's simple, but just takes several steps. All right, guys, I'll put the link in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe.